What's up guys welcome to the 10th Android app development tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to teach you about UI control sizing that is wrap content and match parent till now we have seen lots of tutorials based on the getting started Android tutorials so this is our last getting started tutorial in which I will give you the overview of control sizing now let's move forward now inside our first application we had a text view now we had one attribute text equal to add the red string slash hello underscore world which was responsible for printing the hello world exclamation in our application now we had two other attributes layout width and layout height now by default it is set to actually wrap content now what this wrap content is all about now when we run our application we get the output like this hello world now you can see the blue block surrounding the hello world now if layout width is wrap content then hello world is going to take that much space as it only requires now about the layout height which is wrap content now hello world it is going to take the height equal to the length of the hello world so width and height are here fixed to wrap content so that is why hello world is bounded in a closed rectangle box like this now next comes if you write layout with as match parent and height as wrap content then what will be the output in this case the width will be the match parent which will take the entire width of the screen you can see the blue block surrounding the hello world and if write height equal to wrap content then hello world is going to take as much height as it only needs it is not at all greedy but this layout width equal to match parent it takes the entire width of the screen like this now next comes the layout width equal to wrap content and height equal to match parent now in this case we have width equal to wrap content so the width will take the as much width it only requires but here the layout height is greedy because it is a match parent so it is going to take the entire length or height the screen is all about so it requires only this much space but it is going to take the whole length of the screen so that means you cannot add any widgets or any views or any buttons or text views or edit text within this boundary of blue I have highlighted this with the red one now let's move forward now what if all the attributes such as layout width and height are actually match parent so in that case we are going to get the output like this hello world is going to take the entire screen which means you cannot add any widgets or views inside this blue blocks now this is the way it is acquiring the entire screen so please go to a course guys and please edit this match parent or wrap content just play with it experiment with it and let me know what output you are getting I'm not going to show you the codes for this because it is quite simple later on guys when we'll make our complex applications then we will use all these stuffs in our codes so as of now catch you guys in the next tutorial stay tuned this is Shrek from smart Heart, signing off and do share my video guys and subscribe to my channel thank you